What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andre and today I'm going to be doing an update on BNGO stock. And before we get into all of that, if you guys would like to earn two free stocks with Vibull valued up to $1850, please check out that link in the description below. All you have to do is sign up for an account, deposit $100 and choose your free stocks. That's it. And uh, let's start with the company profile. Binano Genomics operates as a life science instrumentation company in the genome analysis space. The company develops and markets the Subfear system, a platform for ultra-sensitive and ultra-specific structural variation detection that enables researchers and clinicians to accelerate the search for new diagnostics and therapeutics targets and to streamline the study of changes in chromosomes. So, uh, let's continue with their numbers. Uh, for now, their total market cap is $2.11 billion. Uh, they have a revenue of $10.53 million, with a negative net income of $40.54 million. They have a plenty of cash. Their total cash position is $362.06 million. And their total debt is uh, only $14.87 million. And uh, their current ratio is very, very good. Is It is uh, 51.65. So, from the financial standpoint, it is a very stable company. And on top of that, they have very, very strong product. Right here you can see their subfuel system. And this system is uh, very promising and uh, they have awesome testimonials from their customers. All the testimonials and all latest news related to the usage of uh, this uh, system you can find on their Twitter page and uh, I have to say that the testimonials are awesome. But uh, we have uh, some recent news. First of all, this news uh, dated uh, from May the 13th and I didn't cover it yet because uh, my previous video was slightly before this date. And uh, I have to say that uh, Bayanana is uh, beating the expectations and it is very good uh, because uh, after, right after this uh, earnings report, as you can see here, we have very, very good uh, surge in price and uh, we've almost doubled from the bottom to the top, we've almost doubled the price of uh, this uh, stock. So. Uh, let's continue with the next uh, news and uh, on uh, June 14th uh, we have uh, this uh, article and it says Bionano Genomics to join Russell 3000 index while Axel RX uh, pharmaceuticals to see deletion uh, among healthcare stocks. And as you can see uh, Bionano is uh, in list uh, that will be added to uh, this uh, index and uh, it will be added on June uh, 28th after the US market opens. And as you can see, among the entire list, we have several uh, stocks that I covered in my videos as well. It is OCGN, SENS, uh, TNXP, ATOS. So, bunch of stocks uh, that I covered in my video are about to join the Russell 3000 index and it is very good. So, uh, let's continue with the next news. Uh, this news was published on uh, June the 7th and it says Banana Genomics Rally continues amid CCO appointment. And uh, they hired they hired new person, his name is Jason Pryor, as a chief commercial officer. Uh, Pryor, who has held sales leadership position at uh, GenDX, uh, SEMA4 and uh, Perkin Ilman Genomics, has sales experience in genetic diseases and cancer testing as well as pharmaceutical sales. For Bionana, he will lead the commercial teams across the platform and services uh, businesses to drive sales and market access with third-party players. So, on top of this news, we have the most recent news that was published just yesterday on June 14th and we are on uh, Bionana Genomics website. Here is the official press release. That the, uh, let me quote it for you. Bionana Genomics appoints Richard Shippey, former Affymetrix, Illumina and uh, Cradle executive as its chief business officer. As you can see, they improving their team and I think uh, these two persons are very knowledgeable and they are very experienced. And in my opinion, we are about to see the explosion of uh, Bionano stock in nearest future because of uh, all the news, because of all the fundamentals 
and basically from the technical standpoint as well. And uh, all this information leads us uh, to their institutional investors. We are on fintel.io and right here you can see that green lines indicates that uh, these companies opened their position uh, with Bionanogenomics. Uh, red ones uh, means that these two companies, they closed their position and they have to say that Advisory Services uh, Network LLC closed their position and the value of uh, that position was only $6,000 and uh, Silver Rock uh, Capital Management closed uh, $21,000 position in value. So it is uh, not so significant if we compare it, uh, for example, with the new position of Citadel Advisors for more than uh, 20 million dollars and as you can see so many companies are investing in this uh, stock and it is very very good sign and uh, let me show you the short interest uh, of uh, this uh, company as you can see we have 17 uh, percent of uh, short volume ratio and uh, it is uh, not so big as you can see compared for example with the uh, 8th of 7th of uh, june uh, but it is still rather high and uh, we don't have a very high short borrow fee rate and basically that's uh, why you have to be cautious with investing in this stock but uh, nevertheless i think uh, it is a very good company to put your money in and i covered it uh, for quite some time and we had a very good uh, uh, trades and we had very good uh, actions with this stock and uh, you can watch my previous video in order to be sure that uh, I am covering this stock uh, quite successfully for about a couple of months. So, and before we dive deep into the technical analysis, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So, I made my previous video uh, somewhere at this point and I've told you that we have a double bottom pattern. As you can see, we have this touch and this touch. But then we broke this uh, level of uh, support and we went uh, slightly lower for about uh, 10%, 10 or 11%. And uh, it is totally okay uh, because uh, this stock is still technically... Uh, very volatile and you have to be prepared to these type of actions and I've told you that you can add your position if you haven't done this uh, at this main accumulation point uh, you can accumulate your position uh, at the level of uh, five around five dollars or below and basically if uh, you follow my call you're up for about uh, uh, 76 percent and it is very very good so, and uh, what to expect next? In my opinion, we might have a slight pullback uh, with this price action, but uh, it is not so obvious because uh, we are pretty much neutral all, on all the indicators and uh, we are bullish on a higher time frames, for example, for example, on daily time frame. We don't have any weaknesses on according to RSI and we are still growing according to MACD indicator and it is very good sign. And uh, that's why you can uh, ladder your buys down and open your position right here uh, with the assumption that we might have slight pullback and this pullback uh, will indicate that you might accumulate your position. And uh, basically for those of you who just start to follow my videos, so you, you have to keep in mind uh, my three rules. First of all, do not put the money that you are not willing to lose. Second one, do not go all in. And third one, do not put stop loss close to your entry price. And these three rules allows you not only to protect your capital, but also have some uh, massive profits in the future. So, and uh, what are the targets? We have to adjust uh, our Fibonacci extension tool and uh, it's not uh, so huge adjustments, but nevertheless, we have to adjust the third point right here because we have the lowest point of price action at this uh, level. And uh, our targets are following, let me show it to you, with the assumption that we have to land the top of our third wave. Our main target might be at the level of uh, 1.618 at uh, $28.81 mark. But uh, we still have uh, this level as our intermediate target at uh, the level of slightly below $20. So for now we have 
two targets and you have to be prepared that uh, these targets uh, we might achieve uh, by the end of this year and I'm not sure that we might hit it uh, anytime sooner than this and uh, basically you have to keep this in mind. So I think uh, from the technical standpoint that's it for now. This company in my opinion is very good company and very promising because of uh, their business model and because of all the fundamentals that they have for now and uh, i think uh, that's it uh, see you guys and girls next time bye